what's up guys so today i'm going to be showing you a showcase of the uh new um time skip rubber fruit well actually it's not new but i just wanted to show a showcase of it it's in a game called fruit battlegrounds on roblox and i grinded enough mastery so i can show you you don't actually have to be this high i think it's only uh 106 100 160 to get the levels people are distracted by a boss over there so no one should interrupt us in the showcase and I got my friend over here to help me do show the showcase to you. So the first move is Jet Pistol. Alone it doesn't really do anything but besides look if it gives you a little mastery, but not that much. You need a you need a player here. When you go near the player it'll teleport you above them and slam into them. It does a pretty good amount of damage, but I also have high level so it does more damage. Next move is Jet Gas Jet Gatling. Away from people, it it does a giant gatling. It actually has a pretty far range, as you can see here. And and then when you go near people, it uh, does it, it just hits them, and you can you can't really drag them around, but yeah, I can I can show you once it's off cooldown. Uh, that's another of the jet pistol jet gatling. You can see you can kind of just move it around. It does 2.9 damage per hit for this high level. You can cap to level 300, so it's not bad. Red Hawk. Red Hawk is a move where you dash and your arm stretches back like kind of on fire. And I like, and, and so you, and if you're, you if they try to hit them, if you hit them, kind of like Jet Pistol, where it does a different animation. Ah, uh, he kind of fell off here, so I can show you. He might die from this, but it's okay. He's the next move doesn't really need him. And you can see I got some bounty from it. You can see when you use Red Hawk, it it runs right into them. You push it right into their chest, and it sends them flying. The next move I want to showcase is Grizzly Magnum. Grizzly Magnum is a move where you pretty much you stretch your hands back, like kind of like this. You make two fists. You might have huge hands, and then you go. Oof. You kind of just do two, like two giant, you squish them together. It's your strongest move without transformation, which you can see here. Gear fourth, or this um, meter bar right here. Gear fourth. And then I gotta go find my friend. He said he's standing over. Oh, the other spawn. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna get Link to get a little mastery up because, you know, I, I'm trying. And if, if you didn't know, if you get to level 300 on uh, Time Skip Rubber Fruit, get 30 titles, which are these. Uh, you can obtain them by doing what the description pretty much says, like reach level 10. You can get the beginner title. But I don't recommend doing the grinding way. You can also roll the fruit instead of having to upgrade it. There he is. And now nah, let me show you what Grizzly Magnum does up close. Like I said, you stretch your arms back, and then you do them. You can see that did like 100 damage, pretty much double the Jet Gatling damage. Huge amount of damage from that. Now, this is the transformation, since I'm doing a showcase. Here, here we go. You can see we have five moves. This one, you go you pretty much like a dash with your hands, and you shoot, and you turn their feet into like hands, and if you hit them... You do a huge punch. The next move is just a longer range Gatling. Oh wait, not longer range Gatling, that's the next one. This one, look, you can control it with your mouse where it goes. It's like a giant fist. This one's the one that's the longer range Gatling. It does, it does more damage and has a cool animation and slightly bigger radius. This one is the real one you want to use if you're fighting people. But I'm not going to use it on him because I'll kind of one shot him. I'll use another move on him. But you jump up in the air. I recommend holding it so it, your fist can get this big. This is big. This is as big as you, it can get. And then you let go. Or a giant slam. If you're doing a boss fight or something, people won't notice. You could steal bounty. Or or you can get tons of damage on the boss. And you're probably wondering what this fifth move is. This fifth move is the flight. Yeah, I, the big man can fly. For some odd reason. I was a little confused about that too. But... And then you can see there's a player here. He doesn't want to get hit. I'm gonna wait. For, I'm gonna walk away to try and not hit him. See if he can come. See if he's gonna leave. No, I don't think he's gonna leave. 
I'm gonna go over here and and finish and finish uh, my friend off now while he's sitting still. You can see you gotta hold until it's three. This is the max form. You let go, and you can slam into the ground and get whoever you're targeting killed. King Kong Gatling. It's pretty much like a flight too if you're gonna fall because if you can, as you can see, it's it's just like the it's just another thing. It makes you go faster. You can't really jump. That, you can jump with this character, but you can't double jump or dash with this character. And if you're wondering, yeah, my bad, my meter is at zero percent. You're you're like, hmm. Well, how do you get that to a hundred percent? You can see it's not rising, right? So to make that rise, to make this meter rise, we have to we have to go uh, and get in combat with somebody, like a player. You have to go up to them, and then you'll see the like when I was fighting my friend over there. We'll have to get in combat with him, and they'll make our meter go back up. Your meter can't go up if when you're in transformation. So once you use transformation, it's it'll just turn off once you untransform. But that and that's just pretty much it. Here I can I'm going over to my friend now to show you. And if you're wondering why my friend can't do this special dash, you only get that at level 100, and he's not level 100 yet. You only, do you need to do a certain quest for finding a book and to get, unlock this certain dash, which I can show in another video if you guys want to see that. You can see in combat, my meter is rising up. Once that hits 100, it'll, it'll unlock my transformation again. I, you can see I'm trying it with the thing popping up and, hope, and hopefully here too. It's good if you're going to hit them and they're stronger than you. Just hit them once in combat. You, you should run away and then just hide and wait until your combat runs out hit them again, and continuously rise until your thing gets higher. So then you can go into your fourth and fight um, whatever the boss is spawned or whatever else you would like to fight. You can see that gave you like 25%, so you have to do that pretty much like four times, and you should be able to get a good amount of damage on the boss or whatever player you're attempting to fight. This guy I should be able to kill since he's, like, you can check people's levels also by their health. If they have less health than you, they're probably lower level than you. That does not mean you can kill them, but it usually means you're stronger than them. Well, unless if they have a stronger character than you. Now, I'm not doing the runaway strat since I know I can take this guy, but I would recommend for if you're if you're just using this for, as beginner at your low health, and but if you do get to your fourth and people are still stronger than you, I recommend just using it to uh, um, slowly get your attacks on, and then you can get your kill. And once they do die, you lose, you're not in combat anymore, so you might want to make your opponents last out longer, or live for longer, so you can kill them more easily. And that's it. Have a great day.